Hi guys and welcome back to another plan with me video and this plan with me video is going to be my February monthly plan with me video and I'll be using my February monthly kit in my February mystery kit as you can see this is the kit that I am just opening up right now before I start anything just want to let you guys know that the March mystery kit is on sale as of today for pre-sale and will run till December December <laughs> where's my hand been it will run till February 12th oh my gosh I've already posted a thumbnail sneak peek on my Instagram or you could just go to our shop Etsy shops or our website just to see the sneak peek of what March mystery kits gonna entitle so with this plan with me this is our February monthly kit here that I'll be using and also the freebie sheet that I'll be pulling off some stickers from I like to keep my mystery kits back into the envelope snug like this so that all the sheets still stay in place but yet it's easy to access out all my mystery kits either come in the happy planner version or Erin Condren you also have a choice of getting matte or glossy the version I'm using right now is a happy planner glossy version and I do strongly 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 recommend you guys to get the glossy because it's just so much better trust me let's get started Those of you who are new to my channel or new to my mystery kit, on the envelope here will tell you how to use the monthly kit. The reason so is that because my kit are die cuts instead of your regular straight rectangle cuts. So there are certain ways or certain steps that you have to place the sticker down first before you place another sticker on top of it so it doesn't overlap each other. Firstly, you will have to start building your sidebar. Now, with the sidebar, I did include five different um, stickers that you could use. So usually, you could use the two long ones and one short one, or just the two long one, whatever you like. Also, this will fit your weekly spread too for the sidebar. So, if you do not use the other two stickers or three stickers, you could use it in your weekly spread. So, it's a bonus there too for your weekly spread. The second step is now to add the date cover stickers. So there's four down here and three up there. So I usually group them all together and make one huge sticker instead of three or four separate stickers. For those who are just following me right now or just found me, so this is what I mean about my stickers being die cut, that they are trimmed or cut in a die cut way instead of your regular straight sticker. So when you do use my sticker, please peel gently or slowly because of the protruding stickers there. Also, I am indicating that those corners are your anchor corners where you just match the corners of the boxes to the sticker and that's how you lay them down straight. Again, I'll show you one more time, especially these ones with the leaf, you have to be very careful and gentle. And your top corners are your anchor corners again once you have your blank date stickers on the last part is to put on your title sticker bar and as you can see it's also die cut like that and you just got to be careful when you peel it off of the sticker sheet those of you who just started using a happy planner or is new to the happy planner world my stickers do fit the generic regular size happy planner However, there's a lot of variety of Happy Planner, meaning different 
style. It's all the same size but different styles and the format of each monthly spread or even the weekly is different and sometimes it's also measured differently. So majority of the time my sticker will fit in your planner but I'm going off by my planner measurements. Next I like to place my holiday stickers down. I place my stickers at the top of the box because the original print is already printed next to the date so I don't want the box to have to, you know, happy Valentine's Day on it so that's why I cover it. But it's up to you however you want to decorate it. If it doesn't bother you, but I know it will bother me. Next I'm going to indicate the duration of the March Mystery Kit pre-sale. All Mystery Kits do go on pre-sale at the beginning of each month and will end till, well for March will end on the 12th. So I usually like to run it for at least two weeks or one and a half weeks. I've used the washi strip that came with the kit to indicate the duration of the pre-sale. Also these washi, you could use it in your weekly kits too. They are the same height as your headers. So you could use them as blank headers. My husband and I are discussing if we should take a family vacation at the end of the month. So I'm just gonna book these days as potential day off maybe. I also like to indicate the duration of the day off or vacation so I'm going to use a different washi that I have in my stash and just to block off those dates. I, the reason why I use a different washi than the ones that comes with the kit is that it. I just want to make it clear that it's for vacation and nothing shop related or Etsy related that was indicated above. Next I'm going to add in important dates, mostly birthdays or anniversaries and then after my garbage and recycling schedule. The freebie sample sticker sheet that comes with the mystery kit has tassels in them so I'm just going to decorate these two boxes with the tassels on top just to make it a little bit more celebratory, is that the word? It just makes it look fun. And the kit comes with custom cake, so I'm just going to add that onto the spread. And I can't forget my granddad's birthday on the weekend, and we're having dinner with him. First day of the month, most of my bills are due that Monday. And paydays are paid out. Mostly every Monday, but doesn't get into my account till Thursdays. And on the 7th, my little girl has snack duty at her school, so I have to make sure that she has a snack to bring to her class to share with the class that day. And I think I'm done. I usually like to go over my icons here just to make sure that nothing else is going on during that whole month. I actually use this page as a checklist just to make sure I don't miss anything and I think I totally forgot about our date nights, our bi-weekly date nights on Saturdays. Once I have my page flags down, I'm going to use a gold foil sticker that I got from All That Shine just to indicate date night. And lastly, my Hello February sticker, I like to place it where there's like empty spots or on the sidebar as you can see or at the bottom. But I've decided to go with the sidebar. And time to ink the spread. And there we go guys. This is the February monthly spread. All I have to do is just put it back into the planner. A quick reminder before you guys go that the March monthly kit is on pre-sale as of today, February 1st, and will run till February 12th. And when it's on pre-sale, the kit itself is already discounted at a discounted price and it's free shipping. And that's it my loves. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next plan with me video. Happy planning. Bye.